On Monday, March the 3rd, 2014, as part of the second annual NHS Change Day, the Chesterfield Royal Hospital volunteered to host a regional event organised by the NHS East Midlands Leeds. Our Chief Executive, Gavin Boyle, started proceedings. Good morning, everybody. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, my name's Gavin Boyle, and I'm the, the Chief Executive here at Chesterfield Royal Hospital. Uh, and I guess the first thing I'd like to say is, uh, I guess a big thank you to the uh, East Midlands NHS Change Day leads who've organised uh, today's event and looking at the programme. I think it's going to be a pretty good day. Um, and I think also just to thank colleagues for, for asking uh, the Royal to, uh, to play host to this, to this day. I think uh, we see it's a, a real privilege and in many ways chimes very nicely with a lot of things that, that we're trying to achieve as a, as a hospital. Everybody uh, who works in the service as individuals has got the opportunity to make a, a, a difference, uh, to, make a, to make a change uh, for the benefit of, of patients. And this is the second uh, year for, for NHS change day and you just get a sense that it's beginning to grow and grow and I think that we're at the start of something which uh, I think will become a real movement for change and improvement uh, within the, the, the service. There were stalls from other NHS trusts and organisations at our staff facility known as Relax at the Royal. During this time we managed to complete a live link to the main event that was taking place in Manchester. Our Chief Executive Gavin Boyle took the opportunity to give his pledge, backed by Director for Organisational Development Nikki Hill and the many stall holders who were also present. I'm a huge fan of uh, NHS Change Day. I think it's a great opportunity for everybody uh, in the health service to get involved in making it better. And remember, there's nearly there's over a million people working in the NHS. So if we all do one thing uh, just to improve our services, how fantastic uh, the improvement would be. Important uh, to me is that we treat uh, the public when they come into our, our hospital uh, with with respect and we're cheerful and professional. And one of the one of the great ambassadors of that in the hospital is uh, is Luke, who works in the main entrance who greets uh, visitors to the hospital and I'm always impressed with his, uh, his cheery smile and his friendly attitude so I'm going to spend uh, a morning with Luke learning how, how to do it like a professional. NHS Change Day is really important for getting staff behind things that they can do to make a difference to patients and to each other. It's aimed to give staff belief that they can change things for the better. So my pledge this week is that I am going to make an effort every week to get out and talk to staff and patients about what we could do to make it better for them. Thank you. Our Choices team also manned a stall in the main entrance, inviting staff and visitors to make their pledges. They were joined by colleagues from the Ashgate Hospice, with whom this trust has very strong links in relation to palliative care. We also hosted a number of talks and presentations in the old lecture theatre, focusing on the need for change, how to accomplish it and where it will take us. The entire trust got involved within their own wards and departments with pledge walls and pledge stations across the hospital. Everybody at this trust recognises the part they play in making small changes to achieve big things. I pledge to maintain dignity and respect to all patients. I pledge to always listen to my patients. I pledge to work towards improving services for cancer patients in this hospital.